Now we say together the creed to reaffirm our faith. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen or unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now we hear the prayers of the people. Keeping our hearts and our minds open, let's pray to the Lord, responding, Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to bring peace to our world, peace in the Ukraine, peace in the Middle East. We pray for all those who right now are desperately searching for, or who are desperately in need of peace. For all those people across our world who are threatened by violence or warfare. We pray that you will allow all your people to realize we always have more in common with our neighbors than we have differences. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to give grace to the leaders of our church and all religions, so that they may provide us with leadership, guidance, and spirituality. We ask you to open up our own ears, our minds, and our hearts, and in doing so, might show to others empathy, compassion, and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to look down on our deeply troubled world and give direction and understanding to the political leaders of all nations and all those who have influence among us. Well, there are differences of opinion in our world, Lord. We ask you to lead people to an open mind and to compromise their views. And we ask for a peaceful election in the United States of America next week. We pray also for all those who are suffering from the effects of hurricanes, storms, tornadoes, earthquakes, volcanoes, floods, droughts, or wildfires. Particularly think of all those in southern Spain right now. We pray that our planet's resources will be used fairly, equitably, and responsibly. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to help all those in our community and all those known to us who are sick, who are suffering, who are in discomfort, pain, or distress. We give thanks, Lord, to all those who offer help and assistance to others. And we also pray on this day for all those people who have no one else to pray for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Remember on this day all those who have gone ahead of us in the journey of faith, running the race set before them and holding firm to the end. We ask you, Lord, to grant them and us your eternal blessing. May their souls rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Remember all those who visited our church in the past week and we lift up their prayers to you. Let us now take time to say in silence all the thoughts and prayers deep within our own hearts. For all these silent prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and on earth, mercifully accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's say together the act of penitence. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. 
If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Therefore, let us confess our sins together. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We have not loved ourselves as we ought. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you to life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We are the body of Christ. By the one Spirit we were all baptized into one body and have all been made to drink of the one Spirit. So let us offer one another a sign of God's peace. May the peace of the Lord be always with you.